Hi everyone, it's T. Um, I want to talk to you today about goal setting and targets. Uh, one of the we've, we've gone over quite a bit of ground within the module, so you hopefully will have read through a lot of the content within it. But I just want to use this opportunity to talk around some of those issues really and discuss them a little bit more. Um, goal setting. What's the difference between a dream and a goal? Well, you know, lots of people have lots of ideas and lots of people have lots of dreams and lots of things that they want to achieve. We all have them. But what tends to happen and the difference between a dream, something that you'd love to have or love to do, or wouldn't that be great if, and the difference between that and actually a goal and something that you can achieve and that you can set yourself is that a goal is something that you take out of your head and you put it down into a plan and you measure it. And we've talked in the module about SMART, you know, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time driven. So let's just talk around that a little bit more. So the difference between a dream and a goal. Well, a goal is something that you are going to start taking some steps towards and that you are going to achieve. So let's talk about that. If you've got something that you really, really want to do, a goal, and not just a, per, you know, it could be a personal goal, but also as leaders in your organization, it could be specific goals that you want to achieve for your organization and the team within your organization. So let's get very specific about what it is that you are trying to achieve. So get that idea down. Get that idea down either on your laptop or on an app or there's all sorts of goal setting apps and, and, and tools that you can use and we can certainly give you some of those if you want to know about them. Or write it down. It's quite simple. You don't need anything expensive. Write down exactly what it is that you want to achieve. Then write down by when. I would always do it in that order. What do you want to achieve by when? Then you can break it back down to bite-sized chunks about what you're going to do. So what is it that you're trying to achieve? What is it either you personally or your organization is trying to achieve? And when do you want to have achieved it by? Once you've decided that, then you can start to break that down. Because then you can start be putting some measurable things in place as to how often you're going to measure the effectiveness of the action you are going to take towards that goal. It's absolutely no good to say you're going to do something in 12 months' time and then leave it and try and measure it in 12 months' time. Oh, we know this stuff, yes? But let's put some very specific measurable time frames in place and communicate that with your team as to how often you are going to be measuring the effectiveness of the actions they are taking towards that goal. Because, you know, we all know it's very, very, very easy to be taken off track. Very easy to be taken off track. Things happen, we get distracted, we move into a different direction. And before we know it, we're way off track from the goal that we originally set ourselves. Okay? So please put a discipline in place that allows you to measure the effectiveness of the actions you are taking towards that specific goal. And if for some reason you are off track, then you can make the adjustment to pull yourself back. Or there may be a justifiable reason as to why you're off track, then it may be that you need to slightly adjust your goal because things have changed slightly. But do not um, forget to measure on a regular basis. Now we talked about uh, realistic, setting realistic uh, goals. Now. I have a little bit of a twist on this because we talked earlier in some of the sessions about expansive thinking. And for some of you that may not have heard about expansive thinking or, or, or weren't part of the session, what I, talk, what I talk about expansive thinking is that I want to try and encourage you all to expand your mind and to look a little bit further out than you currently see. Uh, and to expand your, your thinking, expand your ideas and not to be afraid to push out a bit further um, and to really set yourself sometimes some quite bold goals, some quite big goals. Why not? Why not? As long as, again, they are measurable and that you are making steps towards and you're communicating those. There is nothing wrong in setting yourself some really big goals. I want you to start thinking big. Then you can bite it down into chunks, 
then you can start to measure it. You'll be really surprised what you can actually achieve and what your team can achieve um, if you break these things down. But have some expansive thinking. Goals should be achievable with stretch, you know, stretching yourself and stretching your team. So put some actions in place to do that. One of the other things I want to talk about is because we've, we've looked quite at length on, on, on this whole area of SMART, SMART goals and SMART things around setting goals. I want to talk about intention. Before you even start looking at a goal, I'd like you to sit and spend some time and question what is the intention behind the goal. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by intention? Well, as a person, you will have a set of core values and principles that you live by. And your organization, as leaders of a social enterprise and as leaders of your, your organizations and the teams and the people within those, uh, you will have a purpose. And we talked at the beginning of some of the earlier modules about vision, did we not? And we talked about, about me, what am I about, what's driven me to become this leader, what, what's driving me to have this organization. And we talked about mission and vision and what we're about, what makes us tick, what's that, what's the, what are the words running through us, you know, what are the veins coming through our organization. And the same applies with a goal. Please, please try to, to align the goals that you set yourself and your organization with the right intent. What is the intention behind that goal? Because in my experience, if the intention is right, and if the intention is aligned with your purpose and core values, and the intention is aligned with the vision and the mission of your organization, then I genuinely believe you will achieve that goal. If the goal that you set, the intention behind that goal does not align with really where you are, I, I personally believe you will find a stumbling block along the way. It will not be easy to achieve, and there'll be a reason for that. It's because that particular goal is not aligned, and the, attempt, the intention behind it is not aligned with your purpose and your vision. So all of these things do link together. They, they absolutely link together because you've taken these modules in certain stages along the way and now that we're sitting on goal setting, this links very nicely into your mission and your vision and the, and the elements along the way that we've been looking at through the modules. So just please give yourself some space and time to look at the intention behind the goals that you're setting. And my final point to you is this whole area of procrastination. And we all do it. Uh, excuse me. I, I have done it. We've all done it. Uh, and this is where we set ourselves a goal. And we're quite clear about what we want to achieve. And we keep saying, yes, I want to do this. I want to do that. I'll give you an example. Uh, I could say, I want to write a book. Well, first of all, I need to make sure, I need to be very clear about what's my intention behind writing a book? Why do I want to write this book? What's the intention behind it? And is the intention of writing that book aligned with my purpose and values about what I believe and what I'm trying to do with my work? Once I've made that intention and it's aligned with me, what is the specific book I'm going to write? When am I going to write it by? And what measurable milestones along the way am I going to put in place to make sure I achieve that goal of writing that book? So, let's say I wanted to write a book in a year, I wanted to write a specific book that's aligned with my values, and I set myself a target that every day I would write at least one page a day. And if I did that, in a year I would have 365 pages of a book ready to go. And I would measure myself along the way on that, okay? To me, that's measurable, it's achievable, it's realistic, it's time-scaled, and it's intent. The intention behind it is right now. So I could set all of those things up, and then tomorrow comes, and for some reason I find myself finding anything, other, anything to do other than write the page that I've set myself to do. And it's strange how these things happen. We distract ourselves occasionally. We're doing everything else we could do, but not the one specific thing that we know is going to take us towards achieving our goal. And that can be a number of reasons. 
you may have come across this fight or flight you know, scenario. Um, human nature is that we either fight or we flight. So we fight or we flight. Yeah? We move towards or we run away. There is another element that comes into play. When we're not sure what to do, whether to fight or flight, we come and we get stuck in the middle into what I would call a frozen state. So we're not sure whether to fight, we're not sure whether to have flight, and we get stuck in the middle in this frozen phase where nothing actually gets done. And that can happen sometimes, so just be aware so I think by setting yourself some very measurable, small, achievable targets and steps along the way, just take the one step. I personally believe you take the first step and the momentum will carry you towards the rest again and then you'll get back on track with measuring and those kinds of things. Quite often we, we don't move towards certain goals and things because there's a fear. We can sometimes have a fear of failure or a fear of making ourselves look stupid, or a fear of, you know, that can come up if we're having to do some public speaking, and, and we can have a fear about that. Um, and sometimes, actually, which is a strange one, is we have a fear of success, and what that could actually mean, and what level of responsibility that could bring with it. So it's not always a fear of failure. It can also be a fear of success, and what people will think about you if you achieve that success. So just sometimes take that time to sit back and reflect slightly. If there is an element of procrastination or fear coming up, or, or, or slight frozenness, if, if there's a word there, uh, question yourself and ask yourself what that's about. But get back to those smart, measurable, small achievable steps towards getting your goals done. And I would be very, very pleased to hear about some of the goals that you've set yourselves and your organisations. My final point is, as leaders, if you have set a very clear goal and some intentions, please, please, please make sure you communicate that clearly with your team so that you are all working together on the same goal for the same reasons. So please, please make sure uh, that these goals... Um, and these measurable and targets and these achievable results are communicated. And then celebrate your achievements. Please celebrate your achievements, even if they're small. Please celebrate them because that helps to build confidence for you and it helps to build confidence for your team. So please, share with me some of your uh, goals that you've uh, set yourself and your organisations and please uh, share some of your achievements as well and I look forward to hearing from some of you. And again, I'm here if you want to discuss these things in further detail and you can always email me. I'm, I'm more than happy to have that dialogue with you at all times. I wish you every success. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.